Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Uh, today, In today's video, as I promised, we are um, I am going to be doing a video talking about the Briscoe Brothers, talking about uh, some of their accomplishments in pro wrestling, and some of their best matches in Ring of Honor. And so I promised this video due to, uh, you know, I figured since J one half of the tag team, Jay Briscoe, passed away, uh, what a week or so ago now, uh, that I figured why not do this in tribute of Jay Briscoe and just talk about the Briscoe brothers and what and like what an important tag team they were and like hey you're not you can't call yourself like a good tag team and like one of the greatest tag teams of all time if you haven't faced these two so so we're just gonna get in right to it. So the Briscoe Brothers are known for attacking me. The Briscoe Brothers, uh, for their tenure in Ring of Honor, and, you know, all over the world, except for WWE. So, they made their debut May 20th, 2000. And now I'm going to go over some of their accomplishments in pro wrestling. So Jay Briscoe was a two-time Ring of Honor champion, and a 13-time tag team champion with his, with his brother, they were CZW Tag Team Champions two times. They were FIP Tag Team Champions, if you know what that promotion is. Sorry, I don't, I don't know what the promotion, pro, promotion is. I just know that they won that Tag Team Championships. They were three-time GCW Tag Team Champions. They were the HOG Tag Team Champions. Sorry if I... If, if I'm just I'm, if I'm just passing the initials of the of the uh, company, if I don't, I'm not saying what the company is. I just don't know what the company is. Uh, they were Impact Tag Team Champions. Mark Briscoe was a was a GCW Light Heavyweight Champion. They won the Crockett Cup in 2022. They were IWGP Tag Team Champions. They were Neverweight Six Man Tag Team Champions two times. They were NWA Wild Side Tag Team Champions. And they were GHC Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. They were also PWU Tag Team Champions. They were RCW Tag Team Champions. They were Ring of Honor Six Man Tag Team Champions. They were inducted into the Ring of Honor Hall of Fame in 2022. They were UXW Tag Team Champions. And they were... Uh, Tag Team of the Year 2007. Yeah, there's some of the uh, championship accomplishments of the Briscoes. Now we're going to some of the best matches. I don't have I don't have all their good all almost every good match to them. I just I just pick some of the matches. So we got uh, the Briscoe Brothers versus CM Punk and Colt Cabana at Ring of Honor's Death Before Dishonor 2. So you guys. If you guys seen that match, go check it out. You have the Briscoe Brothers versus Kevin Steen and Air El Generico, who you may not all know as Sami Zayn now in WWE, at from May Manhattan Mayhem 2. You have the Briscoe Brothers versus FTR ROH Death Before Dishonor 2022. You have the Briscoes versus FTR Supercard of Honor 2022. And you have uh, their dog collar match from last year, uh, which y'all know is Jay was Jay Briscoe's last match. I don't think it's his last match. I think it's his last match. If he had another match, like put it in the comments below. Yeah, the, the dog call match from last year was a bloodbath. You, demand you check it out. And finally, as y'all know, uh, Jay Briscoe uh, passed away. In 2020, 2023, due to a car accident, uh, uh, apparent, there's more. Oh, there's more uh, on this story uh, coming out now, which it's just tragic to know that one half of the legendary tag teams in wrestling is now gone, uh, just that quick. So yeah, that's that's what that's gonna be the end for the video today. Uh, I know I promised it uh, Sunday night, but uh, I just. Didn't feel too good, so I just uh, went ahead and just want to do it tonight. So I just want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, don't forget to 
subscribe. Don't forget to comment, like, follow me on Twitter at Evans Wrestling and other Ramness, and follow me on Instagram at Evans Wrestling. Just Evans Wrestling. I forgot. I I thought I added other randomness too, but I'll add other randomness sometime. So yeah, just don't forget to keep keep up to date on my channel, and I'll keep you guys up to date on my Twitter and Instagram. So if you guys want to know up to date, just uh, uh, follow me there. Follow me on those two uh, platforms, and don't forget Friday the twenty seventh, my two thousand two War Rumble review will be coming up, and as you see in two thousand thirteen War Rumble video, Tommy, and then maybe Sage will be behind the camera again. I don't know. Depends on if he wants to or not. So don't forget, 2002 Royal Rumble uh, review coming Friday. And my 2023 Royal Rumble predictions will be coming on Friday, the same day as 2002 Royal Rumble review. As of right now, this video is happening during Raw 30, which is the Go Home Raw for Royal Rumble. Uh, the show uh, is a pretty good show uh, from what I've from what has happened so far. You know, Undertaker returning as American Badass. Uh, you know, just a bunch of legends and celebrating Raw's 30th anniversary. So, so yeah, so I'm going to end the video right there. Uh, remember, don't forget to follow, like, comment, uh, subscribe. And, yeah, so. Oh, I found my 2023 War Rumble predictions will also be coming. Because uh, Saturday is the War Rumble, so make sure you check the War Rumble out. Uh. Saturday, January twenty eighth. I'm gonna be checking out. Uh, I believe Tommy is gonna be, Tommy will check it out, and Sage will be checking it out too. So, yeah. So that's gonna be it for the video today. See you guys in the next video.